Anna Blackburn, um, big crypto night down there in uh, Nashville, Tennessee, which is just about the hottest place in the entire country. Uh, here's some of the things that uh, Donald Trump said uh, about Bitcoin and crypto. Take a listen, please. Bitcoin is not threatening the dollar. The behavior of the current U.S. government is really threatening the dollar. On day one, I will fire Gary Gensler. I will appoint a new SEC chairman who believes America should build the future, not block the future. If we don't embrace crypto and Bitcoin technology, China will, other countries will. They'll dominate, and we cannot let China dominate. Yeah, you know, that. So, uh, many good reasons. He's right. That last one by itself we cannot let China dominate. Uh, they're poking around in crypto, too. But we still have some advantages. He mentioned um, a Bitcoin stockpile. Anyway, you were at this thing, Senator Blackburn. Tell us about it. Yes, indeed. It was quite a convention, and a lot of Bitcoiners were there. I was so pleased that the president spoke. And following his remarks, Vivek Ramaswamy and I did a fireside chat mm. and talked about how Bitcoin and the opportunity to self-custody, the opportunity to have financial freedom and transactional freedom, and be able to use Bitcoin as a store of value. That is important to Americans. And we think that the federal government beginning to have a strategic reserve of Bitcoin. They already have 210,000 Bitcoin. Most of that has come through asset forfeitures. Mm. And we think that uh, the ability to begin to build that reserve, use those funds to pay down the debt at a point in the future. We think that that is a, a wise choice. That's an interesting point, paying down the debt. You know, um, uh, on this point about the stockpile, he, he mentioned, you know, like a gold, the gold stockpile in Fort Knox. By the way, that yeah. is, that's like the Strategic Petroleum Reserve, which has been ruined by the uh, right. Bidens. But the point is, that's not the Federal Reserve's domain. That, that's actually the executive branch's domain, or it's got to have right. congressional appropriations. So you can get that done. I guess where I'm going on this is better to stop central bank digital currencies, which the Treasury Correct. and the Fed always want because they want to control everything, right? I mean, Trump's not a, he doesn't yeah. want a weaker dollar. He thinks it'll miss this uh, competition will make it a stronger dollar. Absolutely it will. And I'm glad you mentioned the central bank digital currency. That is something that I am very much opposed to. And uh, I know that you remember, Larry, when China wanted to load the digital yuan onto everybody's phone when they went to the Beijing Olympics. And of course, we blocked mm. our athletes and warned others not to do this because when you have a central bank digital currency, that leads to social credits. That mm. gives the government the right to turn your, your currency on and off and control what you can spend your money on. Mm. We never want to go there. And Bitcoin is the opposite of that. You can say it is a digital gold. Mm. You can talk about the freedom that for someone to self-custody and to maintain that transactional freedom. It's the exact opposite. And the other thing is, um, I'm not being personal here because I know Gary Gensler a long time, but the reality is, Gary Gensler at the SEC has been just as opposed to the development of uh, yes. crypto as, this, as the Treasury and the Fed have. It's no better. And um, also, he's piled on rule after rule, which has done a lot of damage to business. So it wouldn't be bad to, right. in the normal course of affairs, shall we say, to replace him. Well, I think that it was a huge applause line, and the president got a standing ovation when he said, let's get Gary Gensler out of the way because the way the SEC has gone after some of these companies and we want to see innovation in this sector. Yes. And when you have Gary Gensler and the SEC and some of this administration blocking innovators at every turn, then it is frustrating. But you know, Larry, not only 
when it comes to Bitcoin and to crypto assets, you're seeing this across the board. They don't want to innovate when it comes to uh, clean coal technologies mm. for energy, or they don't want to expand into small modular reactors for nuclear. Mm. And it goes on and on and on with every industry. Mm. What they want is power. They want control. If they want to make the decisions, yeah. and um, well, thank goodness we have gotten a good decision on Chevron. Uh, we've had the court uh, kind of go after the FCC for uh, one of their funds, and that's a good thing because we need to get the federal government out of the way, out of your pocketbook, off your back and free up free markets so that people can innovate and solve the problems that we all face every day. Yes, ma'am. As one wag put it, it's time for a change. Someone said that. It's, it's time, time for, for Trump. a change. <laughs> Thank it's you, Sam Blackwood. We appreciate it. See you soon. <laughs> you Thanks very it. much. Coming uh -huh. up, folks.